All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, once again, working on the old Mako Pro Skia 17. Uh, finally getting around to doing some upgrades I've been meaning to do for a while, but I'm about to hit up this spring fishing season pretty hard. So on today's video, we're going to be installing some uh, guide-ons for the trailer. You can see that? Uh, I got this kit off eBay. It was, I think, $50.00. Free shipping seemed like a pretty good deal it come with the bunks already carpeted the brackets and everything so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install those and what it turns out like and uh, also want to tell you guys a little bit about this uh, bunk I built for the front I had a couple questions um, hit me in the, the messages on my other video and I just want to clarify and give you y'all some measurements and let you know how I did that so stay tuned let's uh, get after it all right y'all this is uh, the custom bunk that I made up, um, you know, these originally come from the factory with a really hard plastic roller at the front. And if you all have owned the boat, you already know it's it's not very practical. And it can scuff, scuff up the front of the boat. And I even got stress cracks here from, uh, from loading at one time. I was literally, I wasn't powering on or nothing, just winching it up on the trailer. And I heard a pop and I got a stress crack because that roller's got no give. And, uh, and it makes it hard when you're loading to get around this lip here. When you, you put yourself on one of these bunks, it works a lot better because as the boat's coming up, the bow can just hit down here and slide all the way up and it goes ahead and, and, uh, and raises the boat up to the height it needs to be where it's going to rest fully, fully against this. Plus, it also distributes the weight in three places instead of just the one right here where the whole force of the boat, say you had to brake real hard and it wants to slide forward, it's going to push right against there. Now you got three different um, areas for it to rest against. Uh, I've seen people just do this part on some other posts and stuff online on uh, like Facebook uh, Mako group and stuff like that, but I decided to go and put these little kicker brackets on here too, just to keep it more sturdy so it's not trying to pivot. Um, so what I did was I went and cut this to length. I just pretty much held the end of the board up against that and put a 2 by 4 here so I can get this, this length and this angle cut. Um, I'll tell you right now about how long of a piece it is. It's uh, just over 18 inches long. And then I cut these uh, these two pieces right here. The width of this, about 3 and a half inches. Uh, just to screw in from here to here just to keep it um, stable around the center post. It keeps this whole thing from wanting to uh, to rock on you because it's going to pivot on this center bolt that you put back in. And as for the length for the whole bunk itself, I cut these at looks like about 23 inches, give or take. I mean, you could go longer or shorter, but that what seemed to work well for me. Uh, when I went to the hardware store to get these bolts. My local hardware store, the longest they had um, was six inch in stock, and I thought I would go out a special order if I wanted to get sevens. So what I had to do is, um, I don't know if you can see in here, I had to actually notch some of this board out. I just traced um, around this metal and went ahead and drilled my center hole so I had something to line it up on and just uh, notched it out. I took a bunch of little drill bits and kind of drilled the outline of it and then used a, a wood chisel just to chisel out um, probably about three quarters of an inch of the board that allowed me to make my six inch bolts long enough. The one problem is the hook that comes with from the factory that goes there is kind of fat and it makes it hard to, to get it on and off so I am going to be replacing that uh, factory hook which is getting rusty anyway so it's about time to replace it with probably a, a stainless um, like quick link like a, a screw link connector and I might put just a little bit extra length on this uh, extra safety tether here because it can get kind of tight when you're uh, loading and unloading it would be nice to have an extra six or eight inches so um, I'll just kind of hold this tape up again you can see about where I drilled my holes for my bolts uh, the one that actually pivots on the bracket is about 13 and a half from the end the bottom one is just about an inch and a quarter and this top one is about 20 and a quarter so 
just to kind of give you a baseline if this is something you want to tackle do it on your own boat i would really recommend it i've seen people just replace a roller with a softer one but um this seemed to work better for me so hopefully that answers any questions anybody had about um putting the bunks on so i guess we'll uh cut the video and, and start heading on putting the guide ons on the back all right y'all give you a little overview of um this kit it already comes with these brackets and all the hardware u-bolts washers everything stainless and uh these bars i already put this bunk on there but it doesn't uh, come in the box like that it comes separated but these bunks look like that real nice carpet on it i got this sweet little bracket on the back already bolted on you don't have to do nothing with it just uh once you get get it bolted on the trailer go ahead and slide it on where you want it so tools to tackle this project today got my old milwaukee m18 uh, 3 8 impact and i just got a pair of channel locks to, to hold the back side of the nuts to make sure i get them nice and snug I'm not sponsored by milwaukee but if they want to i, I would appreciate it uh, i'll get this tripod set up and we'll, we'll slam these things on there says you want to get these bunks as far back towards the back of the trailer as possible which makes sense so I'm just going to kind of hold this up where I want it so I can get a ballpark estimate of where I want to start uh, start my brackets I think I'm going to go right about there Yeah, I think I'm going to actually push it in as far as this bracket will let me go. That way, I want to leave a little bit of a gap so when you're putting it on the trailer, you got a little wiggle room, but you don't want the back end to be able to shift back and forth. So I'll, I think that's what it's going to end up being like. I'm going to run after the shed and uh, give me a swivel for my socket because I'm not going to be able to get my angle right with these back screws, but if I got a swivel on it, I can uh, still use my impact and staff to use a wrench. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Once the shed uh, got me this little swivel attachment, I already did a quick check to make sure it was going to work good, but it allows you to get on these back bolts. Um, if you were to put this on, say, at the boat ramp, when you launched your boat, you wouldn't have to mess with that. You could just tie it up to the dock and, and put these on without the boat being in the way, but in the yard, this is the way I'm going to have to do it. Angled 
so it's parallel with the boat side. Rub all the grass off of there. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna double check, make sure I got this cinch down tight. And hopefully next time at the ramp, I don't have to fight the wind and the current trying to pull the back end of this boat around while I'm trying to get it pulled out of the water. So I'll do a time lapse on the other side so you guys can watch me put that on. I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for this short and sweet little Mako Pro Skiff trailer video, you know. It's, it's going to really help out launching and loading for sure with them bunks and, uh, and definitely with the bunk on the front as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned. Hope you get out there and do some fishing here shortly. Y'all take it easy. Halfway there adventures. All right, Dixie wanted to make an appearance in the video, so I, I couldn't couldn't tell her no. There's our new little pup, Dixie. <laughs>